my super cool Virgo people. Welcome back to another episode, tarot episode of your drama in your love life. I'll tell you, every day is something different. Hope you're all doing well. Smash that like and subscribe button. Personal reading links are under this video. All right, Virgo. Hello, everyone in the chat. Please do join my channel, become a member. So every Sunday you can pop in here um, when I go live and get a free reading, mini reading with me. One of the perks. All right. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. This is a love reading, a channel for Virgo. Virgos only, Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Be mindful, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Okay, Virgo, let's check this out. What's going on? How is your love life playing out for April, 2022? Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus. The golden mirror. Look at that, that's just popping out right away. Okay, let's see self-absorbed narcissist hooray <laughs> one-sided relationship love bombing okay what the heck somebody's in love with themselves hmm. but you know in a very like vain not healthy way here here we go here we go okay so you may have uh, a very narcissistic partner or shall we say very spiritually disordered person in your periphery in your life in some way lover friend family member whichever okay they're showing up in here they're showing up in your reading virgo why what's going on here what is going on with you and this person and there's your notification bell to tell you that yes something here is happening okay let's see do they want to tell us more oh Oh yeah, they do. They want to. They want to say a lot, but we're not going to take all these cards, okay? Let's keep this real simple. All right, they're saying. There you go. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together, perfect. Oh, okay. Look at this. I'm not even kidding. Um, you've got a narcissist coming towards you, or uh, coming back around, or showing up in your life, okay? And this person has the key. They know how to get in. They know how to get in. And if you lock that 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 heart up of yours, you're gonna find another key. What the heck? All right, let me see here. What's going on? Welcoming love, meeting the one. <sighs> okay, so they're just saying that. Okay. All right, now, listen, usually we just pull three cards. Now we've got, or yeah, total of three. Now we have a total of five. Engagement ring, talking, and clock. Okay. Virgo, listen. Oh, what the heck? Why? What's going on? Oh, my goodness. Did you just see how these cards are just falling out of my hands here? Oh, they're giving you love call. What the heck? All right, you're, there's something going on here. Um, give me a second. They really want to talk to you. My gods are really speaking here. Oh my goodness. Virgo, it's it's like it, something's coming around here. Um, everything looks great. Like these cards all look amazing. Engagement ring, talking, love call, clock, progress, heart with a key. These are beautiful, but so this i don't know I, I don't know okay you've got someone who is coming in i don't if this was someone you were dealing with in the past or somebody new you're getting that love bombing love phone call talking i want to marry you i've got the key to your heart i want to get together you are perfect for me you know um hoovering is here it's a text it's a phone call it's an email um somebody wants to talk more they're very interested in you some of you've been waiting for this message um and i feel like those of you who have been waiting to hear from a partner like this it might have more to do with because you're maybe just someone who's not really sure if you're dealing with someone like this okay um but here you go here you go you've got you've got a very narcissistic individual um who's going to be hoovering you know this person it's all about them one-sided relationship their way or the highway very dictator type energy um, are you on guard? 
<laughs> do you have your troops set up around the border so somebody cannot get in you know um because you've got somebody here it's total love bombing um <laughs> it's it okay let's get into this let's get in i don't know if the reading here is going to relate to what's going on here but i feel like virgo you better be prepared you better be prepared somebody's coming in here you're gonna ha like do not let your guard down right away don't be like you know you got to find out for yourself because as i said this is a very general reading but let's take a look who is this person what is going on okay okay so we have the queen of wands i get a strange sense that a lot of court cards are going to show up in this reading okay so this is um a very uh, a, f a feminine energy okay leo aries uh, sagittarius all right let me see show me okay so clarifying that for some of you this is a leo coming in in a very soft kind of feminine energy right not coming in um definitely direct with some kind of love bombing thing but this person is not coming in um forceful they're not coming in as a bully they're coming in quite soft like a child okay <sighs> there's no anger there's no aggression there's no coldness connected to this approach um let me see uh, maybe you have a child with with someone this could be an ex Ooh, or you're connected to this person in some way um yeah this person it feels like <clears throat> is coming back okay this is a return okay that's what the eight of cups is this is there was temporary separation and now this person is coming back with they're showing their positive side they're showing this playful side they're showing this fun side they, with the sun they want to have success um they're coming in they're going to give you like show exposure they're going to expose themselves to you um you know so if, <laughs> you know that can be taken figuratively or literally it really just depends but this person i feel um separ separated from the relationship they went on some kind of journey um to um it feels like seek out something else they got distracted or something else like the pull of the moon the pull of the moon they got pulled into something else maybe they were going after another lover um and the reason i say that is because they were intrigued by them by a mystery the mystery of the moon here look at the moon up there okay they were intrigued by something that they couldn't quite figure out and i feel like they withdrew or they walked away from a connection to chase some type of a waterfall you know how the moon has an effect on the water and we have all this ocean energy here they were their emotions were pulled in a in another direction all right and uh that was it yeah they're telling me there was something that happened at night so i feel like this person got pulled in some strange uh direction hmm four of pentacles um and blocked you they might have blocked you or you blocked them and then they they said okay i'm gonna go and you know chase after uh, I'll chase after something else here and now they're like now they're returning to claim returning to claim possession of, of you but they're coming in with this love bombing stuff you know they want to talk to you they're ready they want to get engaged want to get married um okay I want to I want to say something here um this person has a lot of self-love and they put themselves first now when we say narcissist i'm not talking about someone who um i'm just talking about someone who's extremely selfish they they don't in relationships it's like they're sitting down at the table 
with you for dinner, they're going to they're going to fill up their plate first and then they'll fill, fill up yours, okay? It's not that they won't fill up your plate, but you're just going to come second, okay? Um, now for some, they will fill up their entire plate and leave just a little bit for you, okay? So that you can't say that they didn't leave you any. I'm, I don't know where this is coming from, but I'm, I'm just picturing um, they may make it seem like they're being thoughtful of you, um, by leaving you some 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 nutrition, some nourishment, but it's like not enough um, because it, especially they filled their plate up first. It's so weird the way this is coming out because I just keep seeing um, like a like a dinner plate and food at the table. You know, they they get they get more for themselves first. So is that? It's not like. It's not in the DSM kind of narcissist. It's just someone who is, you know, their needs come first. They gotta meet their needs first. And in the month of April, you are their need, okay? They view you, Virgo, as someone who is like a bright shining star. And they're extremely attracted to you. And, you know, you've got everything. And that's, of course, why you're attracting this kind of person. People who are in a position of um, like the Queen of Wands will have a tendency to attract those types. Okay. Um, feeding off your light, I guess, in some strange way. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Love bombing. There's your love bombing card right there. Cupid's arrows. Messages like crazy. Um, with passion, you know, wands energy, um, passion, urges coming after you, travel, connecting with you. Um, if you if you were at a distance, there's just long distance travel um, or just, you know, driving around the corner to your house, coming to see you. OK, <laughs> five of pentacles and the seven of cups. So. Um, you're a fantasy. This person, oh my goodness, Virgo. Oh my goodness. I know some of you are like, okay, I'll play the game, you know, um, but I don't know that you guys are, you know, I'm just showing you here what's co what, what's coming into you. I don't know what you're going to do, but you know, you got to do what you have to do and handle things the way you want to handle it. Some of you are like, nope, not going to happen. Some of you are going to play the game because you think you can win. Some of you are just going to give in. It's, I'm not here to tell you what to do, although sometimes I, I will say, you know, better to be single as a Pringle than uh, dealing with an ass hat or a shit stain, but you have your own life, you make your own decisions, right? So this person views you as a, as a, I feel like the time that there was separation of some sort between two people during this time, this abandonment, this left out in the cold, I feel like somebody here has now built up this, uh, is re-idolizing you and re, um, having more of these fantasies about you. And that's bringing all this energy back in again. All right, I will take a look. Um, let me see the sun, what's going on here? Yep, there's the offer, Knight of Pentacles, okay? Coming in with a solid offer, right? This person, to them, to this person, what they're offering is the real deal okay what we're i mean it could be a ring you know that pentacle you know for those of you um who receive engagement rings that pentacle is like a tangible piece of metal here okay so expect a phone call somebody wants to talk to you okay and we had that yesterday no, yeah, the talking card, we had that yesterday. They're coming in to talk. There's, they're hoovering. They're going to be, they're watching. They're going to be chasing after you. They're coming to see you. You know, they've been out there. They've seen that either no one is there for them or people shut the door on them, probably. Or there's a lot of people are just blocking them. They go out searching. A lot of people are onto their game. They go out searching and people are like, nope, the door is closed. Nope, you can't get in. And so now they're either re-idolizing you here or they're just coming back in to try to, you know, have you back in their life. All right, let's see. My goodness, the energy that plays out sometimes in these readings, I don't even know. All right, let me see. Oh, ten of, ten of swords, yep. They've hit rock bottom. They're bringing it back around your way. Point blank period. 
they're coming back in let me see here um, for some of you you're gonna get a phone call or a message sometime around 9 p.m. it's gonna come in around 9 p.m. if it hasn't already okay um, uh, there may be uh, they might be asking if they can move in with you or they could live with you or talking about living together oh boy I mean let's take a look at your energy Virgo what are you gonna be doing here what all right <laughs> You have the hermit. Virgo's like, nope. Lights are on. Nobody's home. Sorry. Not here. You're in withdrawal mode. You are, I feel like you're just going to be isolated. You're going to isolate yourself from this energy. You are not trying to connect. You're leaving the scene of the crime. You're not dancing with this person. Um, you're not having this kind of foundation. Some of you, okay. You're just, this might be a family member for some. It may not be a lover. Could be a family member. Uh, they're just telling me to tell you that. <clears throat> Could be a family member. Your mother's coming home. Your your, your narcissistic mother <laughs> is coming to live with you or you're moving in with them or they're inviting you to come stay with them um, or your sister. Okay. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This is... N this is Oh, hold on a minute. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not, listen, I, I'm sorry, but this is not a lover. They're just, they're telling me this is not your lover. This is a family member or a friend or a close colleague who's a friend. Um, they're getting married. They're, they're coming to be in your, this is somebody you probably, it feels mostly like a family member um, that you don't want anything to do with. You're, you might have removed yourself from this person. Listen, if you want to, if you want to bring this in as a lover, feel free to do it. It could be both, but no matter what's going on here, whoever this person is, whatever's happening here in April, you're like, nah, no thanks. I'm not trying to be friends. I'm not trying to be on the same page as you. I'm not trying to have this mutual connection with you here. We're not, um, I know you're trying to be on, like have this meeting of the minds, but I'm not in agreement with the way you treat people. Just because you're hitting rock bottom doesn't mean that I am. I'm hitting rock bottom and that I'm getting the hell out of here, right? Whoever this person is, okay? If they there was betrayal, um, or hurt or some kind of pain or something that somebody might have done family member friend lover whatever it is you know they're coming back in um because they're feeling lost and alone and they're re-idolizing this they're living in they're living in freaking fantasy land is where they're at, where they're, there's no reality here with this person um it, it just it doesn't even feel like somebody's coming in here to try to heal um, or try to apologize or make any amends. I mean, we'll have to see how the reading goes, but you know, it doesn't also have to be engagement ring. For some of you, this could be like, you know, like recommitment to the partnership. Um, okay, let, let's see, Virgo, what are you doing? Okay, you got the Eight of Pentacles. Here you are with your King of Pentacles being in your very divine masculine energy. You're focusing on you. You're, you're doing your work. You're making plans. Maybe some of you are making travel plans. You're looking out here onto the horizon. You know, you're seeing what else is out there in the world. Um, um, so this person, if, you know, there's travel involved or they're, you know, sending you messages um, or bringing some news to you some of that news might be like i never forgot about you I, I don't want to let you go i think we have something we can do here let's try to make this relationship better some of you i feel like might say to them well you know i'm working i'll have to see how things go you might leave it like open um you, you're not gonna i don't know if there's like a, a fear of get like getting entangled with this person you might just blow them off in a way and just kind of be like 
oh yeah, <laughs> you know, um, not really make a decision because, you know, you, this is like, sta this is like standing, this is being at a crossroad, you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to say no and I don't want to say yes. Um, maybe I'll just be in like agreement to whatever they say, but not fall through with anything. And then, you know, just turn around and get back to work or do whatever you need to do. Like put effort, you're putting effort into yourself. I feel like you're, you're just focusing on your blessings at this time. No matter who this person is coming in, how did you meet this person? Where did they come from? Let's see what else is going on here. Okay. Death. Okay. Hmm. Death of Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands. So... Let me just call it the signs real quick. Although there's really not much. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. Um, either you were married to this person or there was a family, there's a family connection. Okay. Something here to do with um, a death or some type of change or transformation um, in order to be victorious. So you could have been married to this person and then they ended the, the marriage or the divorce or the relationship um, to make themselves feel like the victor, um, which is really strange. Or they ended it because or they separated from this family dynamic that was supposed to be loving and supportive, but um, I feel like it could have been you. You weren't really getting the love and support and appreciation in this family dynamic. Um, you weren't feeling, that's what it is. You weren't feeling like um, you were being recognized in some way. You weren't being appreciated. I feel like some of you, you ended this connection in some way. I, it was you who kind of walked away you walked away because the person you were with is very self self-absorbed okay um you walked away from a marriage you walked away from a family situation you left something that you just didn't feel like you were equal in you weren't a part of you weren't being it feels like you know that six of wands energy it's always a card about you know victory recognition um appreciation um you, you weren't feeling that and i feel like you walked away and you're not going back you're not going back to that doesn't matter if somebody's coming in like you know you're the one for me you know let's let's get together you're perfect you know let's have a recommitment to our partnership or you know i want to have this i want to get be engaged to be married you know i want to talk to you i want to learn more about you um you know, anything that somebody comes in, they might even say, you know, back then it wasn't the right time. There's something here with you that you have completely retreated, Virgo. And I see you going forward, staying in that energy in April. I see you staying in that energy in April. You're still distanced. You're distancing yourself. You're not trying to engage. Yep, here you go. I was asking why the death card is here. And they gave you the lover's Gemini energy. Okay, could have been a, a a marriage or some kind of a partnership that came to an end or you ended it. You transitioned out of it. You just didn't want to do it anymore. What's done is done. And you're still in that energy. Um, but, you know, this is the possible outcome. There's probably 18 million other outcomes that would show up if I pulled a different set of cards. At the end of the day, you have free will. You got to choose what you got to choose. But I can tell you now, Virgo, whoever this person is, whoever the connection, however it ended, whatever was going on with somebody here, um, I, I, okay, they're just telling me that you could have left a very, like, um, a, a, a relationship where it was just very one-sided in the past, and you could be meeting another type who's just like that again. So I feel like the message here is for you to be very careful, um, just to be more discerning about who you're getting involved with. Um, let me see. 
going to get some romance angels. See what the messages are here. This is crazy. This whole thing would have been just skittles and rainbows if it wasn't for that self-centered M effort showing up here in this reading. Let me see. Yeah, you're going to get the love bomb in April. Huh. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. This person's coming in. Going to the chapel and we're going to get married. Yep, they're coming in to marry you. They want to marry you. They're getting down. I don't care if you were married before. If you, I don't care. There's, you're getting married again. Um, if you say yes, of course. Um, now we have codependency. So um, this person might have had some kind of a drug addiction or some type of an addiction. Um, that could have played a role. That has not changed with this person. They're coming in exactly the way they were before. They're coming in exactly the way they were before. Nothing has changed. And you might have some codependency issues that you're trying to deal with or to heal due to this relationship. Maybe it was a parent or a family member or, you know, an ex or whatever. Somebody had like a drug and alcohol addiction. You're trying to protect yourself with that hermit. Hermit is, I mean, number one, Hermit is your card, but number two, it's a card, it's an it's the number nine card. So the the hermit represents completion, endings, um, transition, understanding, and service, and serving self, and cutting out or kind of withdrawing from people, places, and situations do not serve your best interest. Um, so it's going in for that clarity right? Spiritual illumination, personal truth. Who am I? What am I to this person? What role is this person playing in my uh, life? And what role am I playing in theirs? What's the point of this whole thing when it's one-sided? What am I doing here? Why should I go back? You're really making um, strides and asking yourself questions here in April. Okay. Let me get another card here and see what the message is. So much crazy. So much drama. Virgo's like, mm -mm. I am not doing this. I do not want to get married. I do not want to get engaged to someone that it's all one-sided. And I, yeah, so I have all this material stuff, but I'm. what am I left with? What am I left with? You know, it's, you know, if you're the female, it's like you looking at this person like, oh my goodness, did I just see Drew Barrymore? Is that, this is, I've had this deck how long? Can you see? You probably can't. I swear that looks like Drew Barrymore. You know, lately I have been seeing these artistic images, illustrations on my cards, and I've been seeing people, um, celebrities or famous, or just people who, I swear, immediately, I've never noticed that before. Why is Drew Barrymore showing up in my reading? <laughs> what, E.T.? come home. Let me see what's going on here. Let's see, who does this look like? Uh, Blake Lively? Maybe they're going to be doing some movies together. Blake Lively? I just saw. And Drew Barrymore. And that guy, I immediately saw Orlando Bloom, but I heard, I kind of saw, I kind of heard. Who knows? Anyway, Let's keep it moving. All right, let's see. Oh, making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right, so guess what? Virgo, this person, mm, this person's addicted to you. They're like, and that would be typical if you were dealing with someone who's very narcissistic. They're very insecure. You know, um, I think that the next podcast, I'm not sure if it'll be the... I, I, I can't, all right, so I think we're going to touch on narcissism. I think that's going to be the next topic, um, but let me see what else is going on here for you with this person. They're definitely coming in. They want to give this relationship a chance, work on the partnership. Listen, the cards just keep saying the same thing over and over again, okay? Um, you know, like, I, you know, I, let's not call it narcissist. Let's just call it self-absorbed uh one-sided type of relationship with someone who's quite spiritually disordered 
you know, I'm going to make up like a, an acronym for this. <laughs> I hate, I absolutely despise when I hear myself use that word, that N word, that narcissist word, I get, it gives me chills. I don't like using that word um, because I feel like it's just so like thrown about so much, you know, um, and I, I'm just kind of careful. I mean, like the most you're going to get out of me. Um, I'm either going to roll my eyes or I'm going to call someone a shit stain or I'm going to, you know, <laughs> like, I, I just don't, I, I don't know what it is. It's the Virgo thing in me. Like I have a nice streak. I hate to say it. I honestly can knock an mf -er out with just one punch. Even with these nails, I could do it. But I really, the Virgo in me, I just have this nice streak and I care. And I do, and I like don't like to call people names, but if I get pushed far enough, I'm not gonna have a choice. Um, but I'm not affected by the, whoever this person is. I know you are, so if I, if I call them any kind of name, then uh, I'm doing it for you. But honestly, I, I would prefer to just keep things peaceful, <laughs> if possible. <laughs> but let's move on. What am I even talking about? All right, let's move on here. Let's see what other messages. Because I don't know that some of you, I mean, do you want to really know how this person's feeling? I will look into it. Okay. I'm telling you now, this person is coming in and they're going to try to seal the deal or reseal seal the deal. Or this is somebody new that you're connecting with. Um, that you might just meet another one. Some of you are going to settle. Some of you are just going to be like, give up. Or, you, you know, you're going to, you're going to do what you're going to do. Let me take a look here. What are these? How, what is the message? What are the love messages here? Okay. I look for you everywhere. Yeah, this person's crazy addicted to you. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Past life karmic, maybe. Not karmic person. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. All right, look. They're trying to talk to you here. Why is this so blurry? Don't dismiss the red flags. There's red flags here. If you see red flags, and I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about these, um, I'm talking about real chess move deal breakers, okay? Abuse, harm, character trait, character defects, that kind of stuff. Lack of integrity, loyalty, um, no virtues, no morals. That's the kind of stuff. I'm not talking about someone who you know, doesn't wear the right kind of shoes or, you know, leaves the toilet seat up. We're not talking about that kind of stuff. The the red flags, what are your red flags? Let me see. The timing just wasn't right. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that this person is going to come in and if you were with them before, they're going to come in um, about the time, they're going to use the timing thing. I wasn't ready before, I'm ready now. Um, if you meet this person and, and, you know, all of a sudden they're love bombing you, telling you that, that you're perfect for them and they want to be with you, um, they may use the timing card where I've waited so many, so long. Um, time just kept ticking by and I've waited so long to meet someone just like you. You're perfect for me. You got to listen. You got to just, somebody who says that shit like super, super quick. I mean, like, that's the first message of the first phone call. Run. <laughs> Run. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that to somebody. I think those are wonderful things to, to hear. And I think they're wonderful things. But just because somebody says them doesn't make them a self-absorbed narcissist. I think it's, it's all about perception and timing. It's when the person is saying it, right? When somebody's saying it, it's like kind of getting... What did Vlad say? In the, uh, you're getting that uh, Nigerian princess who's calling and she needs money, right? And she tells you how amazing you are, how great. It's an email or a phone call. You don't even know this person. It's all about the timing, the way people come in, the way they come at you. Let me see here. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. So obviously, you're going to have to like not go not go through not do this alone okay whoever your soul tribe is you got to find your soul tribe and like have a conversation with them wait <laughs> and this also this person is seeking your support now here we go two different decks 
wait, the timing is not quite right. The timing just wasn't right for us. You're going to get a lot of this. You're going to get a lot of this. Okay. Um, listen, I'm just telling you what's coming in here. Like I say, I, try, I have to reiterate all the time that, you know, you know your situation better than I do. This is a general love tower reading. I'm not there with you. I can't be there with you. I don't even know who you are or what you look like. There's a message here for somebody. And if I'm speaking to you, you're going to say light bulbs are going to be popping left, right, and center. Okay. So don't just use this message may not be for you. If you feel like, okay, yes, this is what I've been dealing with. This is how things have been going. I'm not going through this again. Okay, fine. Handle your business, right? But don't listen to this reading and then, you know, click off when it's over and then say, well, you know, House of Virgo told me that you're this. And so that that's like, that's like the person who has a dream that their partner is cheating on them and then wakes up in the morning and hits them over the head with a bat. And then the other person's like, what the hell did you do that for? And like, cause I, I dreamt that you were cheating on me. Like, it's not, don't do that to yourself use logic be cerebral think about your situation and see if this applies okay this might just be continuous or this could be somebody new coming in and you're not there yet so don't make it that every person you meet who's new is going to be this is going to be them okay i love you see every time we, we every time we get a little angel bell ring there that's a sign that what i'm trying to tell you is the truth interference an external party is intruding on this relationship it was my fault but i blamed you okay i don't know lately i feel like i lately i've been feeling like i have to clarify some of that stuff and i don't know why um maybe it's because it's a very serious reading and it's not meant to be it's meant to be general okay let's see what your person's um yours or whose chinese sign is showing up here oh my goodness virgo the drama all right they're giving you two again we have the dragon and we have an ox okay so you could be one of these and your partner could be the other We've got the rooster, dragon, ox, rooster. I just heard somebody's name is Dora. Okay. We have the rabbit. We got the rooster again. And there is a monkey somewhere in the mix. We have a pig. Okay. We have the ox again. We have a goat. We have the pig again, and one more for the road. Oh, monkey, one more. We don't want doubles. Oh, we have the goat twice. What the? Okay. And then we have the year of the rat, okay? All right, let's get into other messages here. So I'm going to use my Moon Pie Tarot deck. If you're interested in purchasing this deck, there is a link below this video. Okay, these are, this is my uh, Oracle deck. All right, let's check this out. See what other messages there are here for you. Virgo, what's going on for April? Oh boy. Okay, you could do this. Oh, you have the strength card. Wow. Um, <laughs> I keep getting all these notifications. What the heck? You can do this. You have the courage and strength to withstand the situation, Virgo. Start by soothing the beast. Go with kindness. It's the strongest attribute you'll ever have. Fight back by not fighting, which is not engaging, not getting involved. If this is your reading, that's probably the best thing you can do is not engage. Step out of the ring. Somebody can't fight with you if you're not in front of them. Okay. Um, pull your courage up from the ground and hold steady. Do not be knocked over you're a winner virgo stay a winner okay if and so this kind of feels to me like you need to take on that um courage of a lion not be a coward you need to stand up for yourself um and even if that means walking away from engaging in anything that would be unhealthy for you um it feels like a, a pep talk here because you might have somebody coming in here that you may have expected it's been a while you may have expected to hear from them and to come in with this energy for some of you you did not expect it or you won't be expecting it and it's a surprise 
okay and it might have it it might be one of those things that could just like knock you off center right because it just comes out of the blue so just remember to get into your your strength energy with this situation love yourself have your self-respect be courageous okay yep committed love relationship that's what this that's what's going on here there's somebody coming in here and wants to you know put a ring on it or have you put a ring on it you know they're ready for that committed type of talk so i feel like this might be a little bit peppered a little a little bit of yesterday's reading is peppered into this okay test of faith and boundaries wow virgo you're getting some very strong messages here um real quick for those of you who are trying to buy my deck i said this yesterday you see how these this deck is worn and torn like a raggedy old pair of shoes i use my decks like eight hours a day um and i use them like 24 days a week <laughs> so when you use anything that much it's going to get ruined this deck is completely like you probably can't even see all the scratches and everything the, when this deck listen i need a new deck so here i am i'm probably going to get another deck just to show you what it looks like when you first get it um so if you're interested in buying this trust me it's not going to look like that and it's not going to wear off like that or get ruined like that unless you're using it as much as i do all right let's see i just little caveat i had to say okay boredom oh boy now listen some of you might accept somebody back because you're bored with what else is out there that's dangerous that's dangerous don't ever get into any kind of situation with anyone because you're bored um when it comes i mean like a love type of relationship is this if this is a family member or someone that you've been trying to keep away from they might be coming back because they're bored with what's out there and they're trying to like make some kind of reconnection because they're it's all about them i'm bored so let me go find somebody else to play with right like the kid on the playground they get bored of you um they're tired of kicking the ball back and forth with you and they go find someone else to play with and then they get tired of that person and they come back and they want to play with you you know family member friend lover whichever love is an umbrella term let me see what's going on here okay there you go spying and deception so you definitely have somebody here who's All right, I just heard, uh, you know, that analogy I just gave you. I, not, I don't know why I call it an analogy because I actually saw kids on a playground kicking ball. Um, the vision I had, it's like while this person was kicking the ball back and forth with you, they, every time they kicked the ball to you and it went out of bounds and you had to go chase it, they were turning their head around the other way looking to see who else was on the playground. I, I just saw that image okay so the whole time that this person either is with you or was with you um every time you guys were not in communication or whatever they were look they kind of had their their they were side eyeing and looking to see what else was out there with because if there was something else out there that they found which i feel like that's what that person did or is you know why they're coming back because they went on some kind of quote unquote journey um they got distracted by some kind of waterfall and they went towards that that energy is still playing out here i don't feel like somebody like i said is coming in here with uh, you know as a changed person they're just coming in to try to like secure um their bounty with you let me see what else is going on okay financial loss so uh, i feel like that's a warning for you and also this person may have suffered great financial loss that could be a reason why they're coming back this reading is so negative Ugh. um all right this reading I, it just it feels like i would i would absolutely love it i would just love it if the golden mirror wasn't here i would love it if this card was not here but unfortunately it is and it flew right out um otherwise this would have been a most beautiful relationship but you know what not every day is going to be sunny we can't have sun all the time sometimes sometimes we're going to have rainy days let me see here what else is going on i mean i i just feel like you know if you're not already talking to somebody 
um, you will be, especially in April. This person is coming in and they are gonna, you know, the waterworks are gonna be turned on. This person's coming in like with that key to unlock your heart. They know how to do it. Um, they're gonna find a way to do it. If they try and your, your door's locked, they're gonna get another key. They're gonna get a skeleton key. <laughs> you know, this person, I just feel like it's what they want and that's what they're, that's all they're after. This is all they're after, okay? And all you have to do, listen, Virgo, if you don't want this, it's very simple, just say no. And it, you could say no or you could show no. It should be just show no. You know, don't pick up the phone. Don't answer the phone call. Don't respond to a message. Don't open the door. Um, if you have to, if you have to, if you're in a situation where you have a tie to this person in, in one way or another and you have to do it, um, you got to just keep it real short and sweet and not really engage. Okay. That was just a very small message there for somebody. Okay. Somebody is 34. Maybe they're turning 34. Uh, they could be an Aries. I have a birthday this month. They just turned 34. Um, I'm hearing Regina and I'm hearing Joseph. All right, let me see. I'm getting the number eight and I'm getting 17. Okay. All right, somebody definitely is living in a very expensive area where there's a lot of mansions. Like like big beautiful white homes could be the could be Washington D.C. as well. I'm picking up like the White House here. Um, maybe they're a politician or they you know do something in politician in politics. Um, obviously, the White House is in um, America, so I don't know if you have maybe it's Parliament in the U.K. Um, and I don't know all the other, it's, it's just something in like political theater, I feel, wherever you are in the world, um, <laughs> wherever you are in the world, look, and there's the world. Okay. Um, hmm. This person might be a pilot or they fly or somebody's a pilot. They fly all, all around the world. Uh, uh, wasn't that a song? I just heard like some song all around the world oh i forget i just heard it and then it went away all around the world now it's turning into something else i've been around the world and i can't find my baby oh whatever i don't know what it is okay i don't know what it is I mean, I, that might not even be in the lyrics i just heard the har the harmony the tune um okay what else is going on here um, am I just hearing Capricorn? I'm just hearing Capricorn. They just said Capricorn. Okay. Hmm. G7. Okay. Um, somebody's playing betting games on a phone. Okay, I'm hearing betting games on a phone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here comes your apology. Hmm. Well, it seems sincere. Okay. Return of people or romances from your past. Romanticizing how things used to be. Um, childhood sibling as well. Could be somebody connecting from childhood or it's a sibling. And... Um, somebody's, um, okay, I'm just hearing, is that like a flower place or a landscaping place? Um, doing something with flowers? It, um, Easter. Um, so, uh, April 17th will be significant for somebody. April 17th. 
Um, that's next week, I think. April 17th. Okay, 1976. Somebody's born in 76. Okay, somebody is 41. Okay, the initial P. Um, okay, I just heard Pike. Pike. P-I-K-E. And no, not Mike. Pike. P as in Paul. P-I-K-E. Pike. I don't know what Pike means. They're just telling me Pike. A pike. All right. Oh, they just showed me um, a triple X. Something's triple X. Maybe it's me. Baby. Triple X. Okay. No, let's see. Um, all right. They're giving me somebody's phone number. There, there's two. Okay. We have last three digits 341 and 766 could be a social uh, there's they're just seeing last three digits of something okay somebody's born in 1965 okay um, you're uh, somebody's eating an apple somebody's 55 years of age. Um, we have the letter H, the letter V. Okay. Um, Ursula. Just heard Ursula. Okay. Um, August. No, sorry. September 20th. Um, September 15th. I'm getting the letter S. And then I'm hearing shh. Somebody's whispering. They're saying shh. Okay. Um, I also heard Jess or Jessica. Okay. Um, September 13th, birthday. Um, somebody is 37. Just turning or is turning. Somebody is 53. Okay. Okay. Coing, I'm hearing, or Koenig, Coing or Koenig, I just heard, and this is weird. I just heard they said Rip King, Rip King, Rip King. What the heck does that mean? Or Rest in Peace King, Rip King, Rip, Rip, Rip King, Rip King. Okay. Oh boy. Um, okay, they just said to tell you to be careful. There's a plate in the kitchen that somebody either just broke or is going to break, uh, or just be careful that you don't break the plate, I'm hearing, the, the plate. Maybe it'll slip out of your hands. Like, just be very careful with a, with a plate in a kitchen. That's so weird. All right. Um, let me get a couple of charms Let's see what's going on here charms for my lovely virgos okay we have wow are you serious we have two stars yep two stars just popped out okay maybe you're going to be looking at the stars maybe you are right now gazing out at the stars see how pretty the stars are Maybe somebody is a star, or there's two stars. Okay, so this one's pale blue. Can you see it, you guys? Um, yeah, you kind of can. My camera is funky with the blur. And then one more, please. Oh, there's a kitty. Okay, there's a kitty. I love the kitties when the kitties show up. All right, there's something here. Um, maybe you have like a star kitty or you're named your kitty star or some of you, you know, got a little kitty shaved star <laughs> somewhere. I'm not revealing anything about myself. This is you. Let me see. Um, 
You might be my lucky star. Okay. We're going to pull some signs, more signs, and more numbers. Bye-bye. Hold on. Here, we'll replace it with that. Okay. Oh, wait. No, we don't want to replace. These are planets. I don't know these planets. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend. I am not going to sit here and pretend. I don't know what happened. All right. So we have Virgo. We have Pisces. We have Cancer. Taurus. Again. Okay. We have the number one. The number 10. And 11. Add them up. That's one, 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 one. Okay, let's see, what else? Oh my gosh, why do I drop these all the time? I gotta get closer. Okay, we have seven, we have three. Virgo is here again, Cancer is here. Um, Pisces again, actually we have three, three, seven. Okay, some of the, if, the, if we have repeating signs, this is definitely your message. All right, let's see. Wow, we have double Taurus, Sagittarius, three and a seven, 37 or 73. Oh, and a four, number four. Okay, one more shot, one more. Okay. We have five, six and eight. We have Scorpio, Virgo, and Taurus. Taurus keeps showing up a lot. I, I don't know if you guys have Taurus in your chart somewhere or you're dealing with someone who is a Taurus. Uh, they said just do one more. All right, now we have a change. We have a big change here. Okay, for those of you who are left out, we have you have um, the number five, the number eight, and 11. And you also have Aquarius, Libra, and again, with Pisces. So Pisces and Taurus and Virgo, big, big, big players in this reading as far as the dice go, okay? So if you resonate with that, awesome. Might be something there for you. Um, for some of you that have this star, um, Spirit's telling me to tell you that make a wish upon a star. I'm just hearing that. Um, make a wish, set your intentions. Um, upon a North Star. If you see a star, if you're looking at a star, or you just happen to see some stars while you're out, or whatever you might be doing, they're saying make a wish um, and set your intentions on a star. Okay, I don't know who that's for. Um, I don't set my intentions on the stars, but if you want to do that, I feel like spirit. somebody is telling you to do that. Maybe somebody told you that, like a grandparent or someone from a long time ago. Um, make a wish upon a star. Some of you could be sharing. Uh, all right, I, they're just showing me. So, now, somebody's sharing. There's a conversation on a phone that says, hey, did you see that shooting star? Like two people see a shooting star at the same time. And then they were also giving me an image of somebody wearing a pair of um, funky star-shaped glasses. And I don't are they're going to be wearing them or... Maybe that's a child wearing them. I'm just seeing a face with star-shaped glasses. Hold on a sec. And then I'm also hearing, um, they're showing me the Star of David as well. I'm being very prominent. Okay. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it brought some enlightenment and was interesting to you, at least to some degree. Um, and if you truly are dealing with someone very one-sided or a very difficult partnership, you know, definitely seek some help for that. Um, you know, if you really need to get out of that, um, you know, people say, oh, tarot readings can be great for helping you with that. And yes, they can. But most of us tarot readers do talk about the dynamic of narcissism and, um, how to heal from that and generally a lot of tower readers will say if you are stuck in a situation like that seek professional help professional counseling um, because that's really where you're going to make the most progress tower readings are definitely great um, tools to facilitate um, a healing 
uh, directive for you. But um, if you get all your healing from tarot reading, that's awesome. But if you have an opportunity to really advance and fast track your healing, definitely implement all kinds of things. Don't just stick with one thing. Implement as much as you can because it's like eating, you know, all your vegetables and all your fruit and healthy food. You don't want to just eat one thing, right? So, all right, enough about me. <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon. I will see you tomorrow. Love you all. Have a wonderful night. Bye.